guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the final episode of Talk to Opening Destiny. I am sad because, like, okay, so I literally just got home like an hour ago from work, and I am I'm, I'm a little still tired. My feet are killing me and shit. Um, but I kind of wish I didn't have a work, a work today because I wanted to watch it so bad. But I have a feeling I know possibly what's going to happen in this. So here, and, and I've had this, like, in the back of my mind, at least by episode, like, since episode six or seven, maybe even five. So we know, like, in a way, Cosetto is dead. And Destiny is just living in her body. So I feel like something is also going to happen to where Destiny has to, like, either move from one body to another so that Cosette can just, quote unquote, stay dead. And we know that, like, Destiny is going to be in the game because in the game there's a different version of her. And so I feel like this is going to be when I'm, you know, I'm the best girl, um, is going to step up. So Cosette dies, Destiny goes into um, Anna, and Anna and Destiny have that moment that, you know, Cosetto and Destiny have had for such, like, the longest time since the beginning of the show. I don't know. I mean, it's just a little thing, but I've been thinking about that, like, for a while, but I was like, let me keep that in the back of my mind. And because of the fact is, and I retweeted something about it strictly earlier today, um... The actress for Anna is the same actress who will also play this new version of Destiny in the game. So, essentially, it is canon. So, I mean, who who the fuck knows? I ain't gonna know until I watch this episode. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with the finale in 3, 2, 1. Hold on. In 3, 2, 1, go. I'm just, I'm scared. Like, after last week, like, oh. <sighs> like, but I had hope. I really, truly had hope that, like, Cosetto would have been fine. And so, and see, you know, like I said, we haven't even watched the episode yet. But it just seems like we're going that route. That by the end of this, like, she's staying dead and there's no way in hell we're bringing her back which is a little upsetting because i wanted a happy ending where cosetto anna um latte and then also Tacto were together as a family they've been together well Charlotte, well Charlotte latte came in the middle of it but Tacto, um cosetto and anna they've been this family ever since and it's a little it would be a little fucked up if she dies like straight up i hate this so much <laughs> it's like you don't know like when i was at work and when i was getting closer and closer to the end of my shift i was like i want to hurry up and go home so i could see how the hell this ends and then plus i gotta do like patreon videos after this but like oh uh, I, I just mm, i need to know <laughs> Oh shit. Well, of course, come on now. It's supposed to be like, what, the final villain before you go to their master? Well, you can fight one on one up until the point when, um, Titan comes. Oh. Oh. You know, maybe you guys should just abort mission. Fuck it, you know?
Of course, this fucking bitch. But of course, still, she can still fucking heal herself. Hmm? Oh! <laughs> now, there is no way in hell she should be coming back from that. I'm sorry. Like, bitch, you half your body. <laughs> She comes back from that, I'm like, are you serious? I understand she can regenerate, but come on, let's put some bullshit up in here. But Destiny, <laughs> That's a pretty picture, though. The fact that they wait until the last episode to give them something on these two. Oh, fuck you. So many. See, I kind of wish that they had, like, a spinoff or even an episode dedicated to that instead of just, like, this little bit right here because they're seeing so much about him that we don't know. And to the point where, you know, last week he was like, hey, you see this crystal? And bailed my hand on there. That's so sad. And there's that damn crystal. Oh. 
It's just, it's fucked up because he, in his mind, he thinks he's doing the right thing, but come on now. Motherfucker, you still alive? Oh my god. Not really. Why, like, why do we need to chat though? So you love it that dearly to freaking take on a crystal and impale yourself with it? Bruh, hold up, see that? Mm -mm. That's when we need to have an intervention, no offense. But not like this, though. So you basically, oh? Yeah, he looks nice, a half white, half black hair. Oh, of course! Say no once again, problem. They're basically doing it so they don't see him crying anymore, but come the fuck on. Like, no, bitch. Oh! But it's written all over your face. 
face. No, you fucking bitch. See, right then and there, like, you know, if she, if she couldn't heal, she would have been dead. Oh. And I'll always be there to save everyone. Oh. Mm, damn. So we can go home now, right? Look at his face. <laughs> oh, of course, she's curious. Mm -hmm. I bet, I mean, you've been working your ass off. Mm -hmm. I hope so. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Destiny. Oh, honey. Yeah. You're saying goodbye. Oh, stop it! This damn show. I'm not gonna cry. No, 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 no. I don't wanna cry. Wasn't that the necklace that Cosetto always wore? Why the hell did that look like the Persona 5 protagonist of Futaba? Your baby cut her hair too. Look at it! It's so pretty! Oh my god! I get that. Yeah, she has to be freaking the new Destiny because, I mean, her, see, I would have to go back and look at a picture, but yeah, like, straight up, like, oh. I said, I know. Okay. Like, all right, so basically in the end, they, they both died. They both died, like. Is, is that what it is? Because you ain't, you ain't show talk, though. So, um, that's what, I, like, that's what I'm guessing what it is. They both died in the end. He died because he had too much of Destiny inside of him. And then, of course, because it was time for Destiny to go. But, you know, final thoughts on the show. I really enjoyed this. This was a very interesting series. I, I would say probably the most, um anticipated for a lot of people including myself I think you know at first when it started I, it was like hype 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 then it slowed down a kind of bit and I'm not mad about that I understand that you have to do certain ways in the story I do kind of wish that this was a 24 episode series and not a 12 because and, and this is just my opinion on this and I, I don't know if a lot of people are going to agree or agree with me well what the fuck I'm about to say but sometimes not all the time, but sometimes, in my opinion, especially when it comes to a 12-episode series, especially if it is really, really good, sometimes you can't give it a beginning, middle, and end. Like, one of my favorite animes that aired last year, um, around this time, Akunama Drive, that was easy to do that. This, it still feels like a lot of unanswered questions. So, oh, never mind, hold on. Yep, mm-hmm. 
Mm, it's time to play the game. It'd be funny if the game came out today, but I, I don't think that's going to happen. I think they're going to wait um, a little bit, and it's probably going to come out sometime next year. Okay, so yes, as I said, it, it's sometimes when you're doing a 12-episode series and getting a beginning, middle, and end, Sometimes some animes can do it, and especially with stories and stuff, but sometimes when you have a little bit of too many people in the kitchen or too many different storylines and such, it is a little bit harder. Especially, you know, even with something like, um, fucking Pretty Cure. Pretty Cure has 49 episodes, and so when you're doing something where it's like, you need, an, you need like, the main story, you need episodes focusing on characters, and then quote-unquote filler types you can't you're able to do that and, but then at the same time you're like okay this is this can is that can but the fact is that it ended exactly how i knew it was like oh my god but still i really enjoyed this i hate the fact that you know both cosetto and destiny are dead but at the same time they are there with best fucking girl <laughs> anna and so it makes you wonder now when the game comes out from maybe from now to sometime next year on um iphones and androids how that's personally going to go and i'm really happy specifically for kaede hondo because this year you know her the one game that she was a part of ever since um i think when the hell did project tokyo dolls come out like 20 mid 2017 um, up until now officially concluded like about a week after my birthday so my birthday is on the 18th of October and I think by the 27th before the month ended um Project Tokyo Dolls reached a conclusion unfortunately like of course this is that other and so I always wanted her to get in another series where she gets to be a character in a game hell I want her to be in the freaking Idol Master series and hopefully one day that happens but I mean, yeah, I was I still kind of wish that with Destiny we got a little bit more ish on her, so hopefully that happens in the game. Um, same thing with Takto, especially with the fact is he is unconscious, but is it like is he gonna wake up? He's the one character who I'm now going to say instead of him being dead, he is MIA right now. Or his fate currently as of now is unknown. But he is supposed to be in the game and I think he is supposed to be the character that we're supposed to be playing as in that series and plus we're supposed to be meeting a couple others so i probably will do a little bit more research um after while this is editing and everything but i really truly enjoyed this would i watch it again hell yeah honestly this was something where of freaking if, if music and fate had a freaking off screen th this is what it would be and such because i mean how destiny looked like a freaking saber in my opinion you know i mean she ain't 100 look like a fucking king arthur but you know she up there <laughs> Like, I think they would all have a really nice time together and such. But yeah, I really personally enjoyed this a lot. I don't know if I would put it as like my anime of the year, but I think this will go for anime of this season. I think it was the one that, you know, this and I think um, Annoying Senpai were the ones that I really, truly enjoyed the most and a couple of others here and there. But yeah. I'm just I'm so sad it's over because I want more and this is why I wish the show has a season two. But of course, they're going to put it in a game and maybe we get some story or tidbits when the game eventually comes out from now up until 2022. But until then, you know, that is it for now. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards the entire series of Talk to Opening Destiny. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all in January for the start of Winter Anime. And then probably whatever the hell I'm going to be able to react to next when I have time to. Because, obviously, right now I don't have time because of work. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.